just 20 paces. There we go. You've got to cool down a little bit. Get some things in your system and then walk the frame. That's what I'm going to do. Got to feel in heaven when my lover's near Lord, let this moment last for another year Seen like this, I cherish. Don't care about the views or likes. I've been treated so well here in the Philippines. They're truly welcoming. To give back to the Philippines in return, I give my honesty. Philippines, Filipino, Filipina, um, yeah, what a country man, there's a lot, there's a lot in my mind, there's a lot I've got to say, yeah, Filipino people are very very lovely people and that is not an exaggeration at all, but then again, I'm going to state some reasons why I rushed to leave the Philippines and, uh, and I came back to China. If you go back on my channel, I did a documentary series in in the Philippines in February. On uh, yeah, let's say it was a mixed one, really. And uh, the experience wasn't what I was expecting at all. Do you know, um, I don't want to go too hard on the Philippines because it's a, it's a, it's a third world country, it's a developing country, really. And, uh, yeah, basically, uh, but I'm going to be honest though, and that's what my channel is all about, and, uh, stating things, you know, and please, I'm not here trying to target your culture, and I hope you can see that um, I'm not trying to disrespect you at all, you understand? So, definitely, I know you have national pride, a lot of Filipin Filipino people, they have a lot of national pride, and uh, I understand, I understand why, because of previous colonial power and uh, yes, a lot of um, Filipino people seeking validation from Western influences or foreigners, you understand, so I get it, I totally get it, I think it's not just the Philippines but I've noticed that across Asia a lot of people have national pride and uh, that is the way it is really I am not speaking from a script. I don't do scripts on my channel. The only time I'll do scripts is when I'm doing the voiceovers, of course, and that is also based on fact. And of course, and I'll put my own twist in terms of my storytelling. And uh, this one, nothing like that on here, you understand? So, is this coming from the heart, you know? I don't hate the Philippines. Would I go back again? Chances, uh, let's say, fairly high, you understand? And, uh, but then again, like, um, I know some people might report you and then they might want the authorities to take action to ban you because you say something not so nice about the country. I think and that's not a way to go about it. I think for a place to grow, you have to listen to criticism. I mean, constructive criticism. And that is what I'm aiming to put out there. And of course, then I'll also say um, why you should also visit the Philippines. But now, let's focus on why you should visit the Philippines. It's the ease of communication. Oh, 
So a lot of the people there they speak English. So I'm uh, coming from China, and uh, and uh, I was going into the Philippines. Well, when I say coming from China, I'm not Chinese. Surely I'm not. I'm black. I'm I'm African, and I'm British. So definitely, um, uh, the, yeah, I'm just living here and working here in China. You understand? So. Yeah, a lot of people don't speak English here at all. It's so hard to meet someone that is fluent in English in China. And I uh, went to the Philippines, uh, just wanted to take a break from China just to get a different scenery. And uh, yeah, it was so comfortable communicating with people and the language in my native language and stuff. So it was, it was, it was refreshing. Let's put it that way. And they seem very, um, very expressive and really eloquent and, and the expressions and very sound as well and the delivery and vocabulary as well they are absolutely spectacular I mean honestly spectacular um, energy I like the energy quite a lot you know so the thing is like um, everyone seems to be in good mood so that's another thing I like about the Filipino people they even though they're going through quite a lot they, they are, they're smiling and it's absolutely incredible because I stumble into quite a lot of um, street kids on um, beggars as well and uh, yeah so it's it's good to see that with all the hardship right and uh, the other thing i'll say about the country they have the national pride which can, which can also be um, a problem because if you have too much national pride it can affect the country moving forward because you don't only see you only see the the thing that you want to believe in in the sun and then you don't you're not hoping to uh, let's say new possibility so yeah um what else i'll say about the philippines yes they love they like to express themselves in art and music right they are very very passionate people they love to sing and the, quite a lot of them they are very very good at singing and uh yeah so they they love throwing us to take their photos and i i took quite a lot of people photos while i was in the country and uh yeah it was beautiful right people to see that and the interactions seem to be pretty pretty amazing for the most part really um, I can't complain honestly I can't complain at all you understand now the thing is now let's let's just say um, these are some of the things I, I noticed in terms of like how the people are I think some people are very very hard working but of course I think the factory of them they have that island vibe you know, relax, relaxation, you know. Uh, the Philippines is an archipelago country, you know, and it is very far to get to, uh, to be honest, it's, even though it's in Southeast Asia, very, very far to get to. Now, let's talk about the things that, that drove me out of the country, that rushed me to leave and return back to, to, to China. Well, definitely is the food. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't want to be disrespectful, but um, especially for someone like me that have been to so many countries in Asia and the standard has been been set so high from countries like Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, you name it, China, you know, bloody hell, there is like from 9 out of 10 all the time trying the food in all these countries I just mentioned and then when you go there it's dropped down to two to three out of ten yeah there's not a lot of healthy options there and uh it was it was hard to find i mean decent food quite a lot of food the street food of mass process as well it was mad so i apologize for the sound there so i didn't like the food at all there's some food there as well right they do have a, a love for what is it fast food yeah fast food they love it they have their own um, fast food chain called Jollibee's um, I have to say that thing is delicious and um, supposed to enjoy chicken right of course chubby people always like that sort of thing really don't say oh black people all like chicken much no, no, no. yes I do I do um but the thing is it's not healthy at all so you can't be eating that every single day it's not nice you know if you do that of course I mean it's nice but you can't eat it all the time because it can you know enlarge your waistline you understand so now um the food i was disappointed um they do have a food called adaiba adaiba um i think it's nice it's okay you know they have chicken adaiba um but the thing is not my cup of tea i think a lot of the food are quite bland really very bland not tasty at all i know you're gonna be like oh 
British guy, he's talking about bland food. I know, our food is bland, but bloody hell, I never expect it from an Asian country to have a, a bland food. I know the people take pride in their food in that country, so I apologise, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm just putting things out there. And uh, yeah, so the other thing I, I would say I was a bit concerned about is the noise, the noise. Man, it's like when I came back to China, it's like I put in my earbud really, you know, because it's so quiet. And then when you're in the Philippines, like you, you just took out your earbud really, or your headphone. It's so loud, the streets are, yes, of course, they're vibrant, so it's a lot happening. But then again, like um, I would just say, it's, it's a lot, it's too much, it's way too much noise really, from the jeepney, from the taxis, from the, from the bikes, you know. Man, they do have some big ass cars as well there in the Philippines. You have to understand as well. And uh, generally, I'll say um, my friend is calling me now. Also, the infrastructure in the country is lacking. So I can't compare it to China. No, 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 it's not fair. Come on, man. We are talking about a developed country and a third world country. You can't do that. Although the Philippines used to be much richer than China, if you look into the past, but of course, um, I think it's due to um, poor leadership and of course, um, not thinking ahead, you know, not being innovative. I think um, that has led to the Philippines not progressing at all. And uh, yeah, so in that aspect, the infrastructure was poor. But the best way to move around in Manila or Cebu or other places is on a scooter. And it's not electric. Like, I have a scooter here in China, it's electric. A lot of scooters here are electric very silent and China is heading the future and uh, yeah so in order to move quickly across um, the city you need to hire someone that can take you around so I hired these guys on Joyride and they were taking me around and they also have another app called Anchors so yeah it was hilarious there was one encounter uh, jump on the Anchors, Anchors bike those guys would normally take you around and the internet was so slow so which <laughs> which is going to be another point really um I, I did watch a documentary prior to my move to the um my visit to the philippines and of course um yeah about the internet the internet can be it's not terrible terrible but it's just not great you understand especially when it gets around 6 p.m yeah because a lot of people are using the internet so it gets slower you know so uploading content can be a bit harder so you might as well just maybe if you're traveling to just leave the country and then when when you're out of the country and then you upload your content so you can you know can guarantee your, your your video is going to be uploaded onto youtube so yeah the internet is very slow but it's very cheap very very cheap i think they have a um a sim called globe um for the most part it was all right you know so it's not fantastic but it's cheap so i can't complain too much um definitely i'll say um the amount of street kids i i saw actually broke my heart especially our younger brothers you know and then also i'm a teacher as well and then seeing like yeah they take education so seriously and then going there it was a massive culture shock me i cannot believe it really and these kids are out there they're roaming about you know honestly it's, it's crazy and then i also i looked at um what is it the bath control in that country so a lot of them um, the women there they have um, they're single mom, they have kids, you know, and uh, I seem like sex education is not, it's not, it's not taught in, it's not taught in the Philippines, so, and that is a concern, you know, so it is, it is very, very concerning, really, and, hello, hello, hi, how are you, um, also I'll say, um, the other thing I'll say about the Philippines as well, I think a lot of them don't have, um, what's that, Appreciation. Hello, hi, how are you? They don't have appreciation What's for the name? My name is Shaku, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. Take care. Bye bye. Right, always nice people here. And uh, yeah, so that's another issue, really. And the other thing when it comes to the friendliness as well in the Philippines, I just feel like when I was there, people were being nice to you because they want something from you. You just saw the interaction with this boy, and this is 
it's a daily occurrence for me here in China. People are just being nice to you because they want to be nice to you. They, just, they don't want nothing from you. Okay, maybe they want a photo, that's it. But in the Philippines, they want money from you. But then you have to understand, because of their economy status of the country, so a lot of people are, are really struggling. You know, people are hurting. Oh, there was this guy I was talking to, this guy, bad guys, right, on the scooter. Really, it was telling me, like, he has he ha, he have, uh, two kids. He has two kids. And then, and then basically his family rely on him. And he's making, what is it, 10 pound a day. <sighs> Bloody hell, 10 pound a day. Wow. Wow, that's insane, man. People, wages there are very, very low. So low. I mean, it's criminal, really. And a lot of the jobs there are, I'll say, are call centers and, you know, and uh, yeah. Uh, some people are doing their business, they're doing their business there. And also, I saw quite a lot of prostitution. No, no, no. Especially our Muslims, uh, it was hard for me. And then I didn't pick my place. The place where I stay, I stay close to the red light district. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. But the thing, the crazy thing is like, um, there was one night I went out and I, I didn't take, I didn't take my camera. So I was chatting to this freelancing lady and she's 50 years old. She asked me, oh, is there anything I can help you? A massage? And I was like, no, no, thank you. I just want to chat. And then she was like, yeah, sure, have a sit. And we chatted for a while and then she was like, are you from Africa? And I was like, yeah, I'm from Africa. She was like, um, but you sound different. I was like, okay, I am British. You know, sometimes I don't want to explain myself too much, really. And then when you say you're from Africa, yes, of course, let's go with that, shall we? Um, yeah, so definitely it was like, Africa is very poor, yeah? And I was like, <laughs> in my heart, I was like, so that's the Philippines. It's not everywhere it's poor in Africa. Yes, there's poverty in Africa. You know, yes, of course, and there are people that are starving there. I'm not denying that. I think a lot of the people there, they have this denial, really. So they need to break out from that. They need to accept the fact that the Philippines is a total place. It's poor and it needs help. So the more people know about this, it's better. And people can try to help and improve the quality of the people there. And uh, yeah, some of the, uh, the hotel quality in the Philippines as well, where you stay. It's not amazing, but thankfully the one I stay at, although it was not a red light district, it was brilliant, right? And of course, like I said, they have national pride, and they have this place called BGC. It's nice. Don't get me wrong. I can't take I can't take that away from them, but it is not the reality of the of the country. Because once you branch out from that, and uh, you will see exactly like the Philippines, how a lot of people are struggling. You understand? And uh, I saw quite a quite a lot of young ladies that are selling themselves to foreign men and it's sad really really sad and uh, when you look at a lot of those women they're from a very poor background and i don't mean to be disrespectful uh, please don't look at me in that way and um, when i see some videos online of the filipino women like black men they don't need to like you really um just bring the money and that is fact and if you're a foreigner just make sure you have the money they will fall on you really on um, even on the first day the first few hours i was in the philippines i went to a club really i shouldn't be there but someone recommend i can I, check it out bloody hell so many freelancers and they are literally particularly looking for white foreigners you know and the one thing you have to understand in the philippines there a lot of the women they don't mind age gap at all specifically in cebu really i went there I was disappointed to be honest and uh, yeah there's no it's not a lot to do and that's the other thing as well there's not a lot to do in the Philippines I got bored really quick I was forcing myself like to go out there hello forcing myself to go out and try to look for things and uh, yeah it was yeah it was flat in that area but other than that um, yeah I just felt like it was just too much and uh, I wasn't enjoying it. I did force myself. But I, whenever I went to the market, the vibe was good. You know, if people are hardworking, people have a darker skin complexion, they tend to, to appreciate me a bit more. Do you know, and uh, that is absolutely amazing. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. That is absolutely amazing. What's this? Video. Oh, okay. Your, okay. your English is very good. Yeah? Can you speak English? Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. That is so cool, man. This boy, English is so good. <laughs> uh, what are your older? Me? Your older? Me? I am 29. Oh. Yeah, how old are you? 12? 13. 13. Oh, okay. You're young. How old are you? Uh, 
Uh, brother. Oh, brother. brother, little brother. Yes? Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, so it's just it's just fun, and I also experienced this as well in the Philippines with a quite a, a, a lot of young kids, and uh, the difference is like there a lot of the kids they like to say the N word, you know. They are insane. Oh, hello, you guys are. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. So this are the boys, right? They're asking the question, really. So this is the boys there. Nice. Fantastic, right? So now you you've learned the meaning of not using that word again, okay? Thanks, good, thanks, good. Thanks. I mean, I don't know if it's the tropical heat, the amazing and bustling scene. For a while, I mean, going to places, walking around, seeing this spectacular madness unfold, sequence of ultra, ultra friendly vibes, each noon of smiles everywhere, and people flowing out in every scene, Jollibee's on the scene, boy with the bubble gone. Hey, it seemed like everyone moving in some mysterious way, everyone have their agenda. So you have to break that up then for a lot of them. They're so exposed to American culture and uh, yes, they they really, they really, really into the American culture. So they have a lot of American lingo as well. So when they saw me, they found, they found I'm American. Uh, nah, <laughs> it was mad, it was mad, honestly. So I had to educate them. There was one boy that even called me um, the N word as well. And I, and I came up to him and I was like, yo, don't say that again, okay? And he was like, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. And he apologized and I was told, because I'm a teacher, I can't, overreact and I have to educate people as I go you understand so definitely um, yeah I think um, the people need to find way to appreciate themselves they do have a um, problem with and um, skin color there you know what it be like if you're a darker person and uh, you're gonna look down upon I think if you have a darker shade and uh, that is sad that is really sad because when you go to some of the, uh, the stores as well and uh, you see quite a lot of them um, white and cream and um, yeah I think in this part of the world really um because they've been they've been brainwashed in some ways and uh, it's sad it's really Hello. sad in that what aspect are, what are you from england oh in uk okay and um, africa yeah yes you know sierra leone come here stand here you know sierra leone sierra leone you know uh you don't know sierra leone yeah no okay. see that's the thing i always say england so it's easy for them <laughs> all right so sierra leone is in west africa it's beautiful yes Yes. Well, yeah, you know, that's it. All right, nice to meet you. All right, <laughs> the boy is so is so cool, man. Very cute boy. Um, definitely, definitely. Um, so yeah. Um, when I look at that, and then you see like how, oh, yeah, the people they really appreciate, you know, seeing someone like me, and oh, they're, they're intrigued. They're so fascinated, you know. So it's, it's beautiful to look at. So the safety aspect of in the Philippines was a problem. So I just, I just hope I'm feeling, you know, can embrace the different shade. You have a fantastic and beautiful skin color. Really appreciate that. You understand? So, yeah. So I left the Philippines and I, and I went to Hong Kong. You know, so Hong Kong. And uh, as soon as I got to Hong Kong, the first thing I did is to try the food and uh, the scent. Oh, I felt like I can taste again. Honestly, oh, it was refreshing. Absolutely great. Refreshing, really. Um, yeah, I love Hong Kong. And then from Hong Kong, and I enter back into mainland China. And uh, when I enter mainland China, the level of calmness, right? The difference. Oh, it's like night and day. Really, that's the reason why I don't see why the Philippines want to get into any conflict with China. It makes no sense, really, because at the end of the day. You people, you are in this part of the world, you should not let Here outside you, are. you give me candy? Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Shushet! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so lovely, yeah. It's so nice and friendly people. They'll give you stuff. They don't they don't they don't want something from you. Just amazing. What a place really. I love China. Absolutely. So I escaped and I came here. I see the taste of food, uh -huh. the kindness of people. Uh -huh really even though they can't speak the, the language all the time and only the younger ones tend to speak a bit more better english but other than that treated much better here in the philippines um say in in china and uh would i recommend anyone to go yes of course go to the philippines for a visit but of course watch your guard there's quite a lot of scams out there you can get a little bit set unsafe in some way and uh yeah i would say the people are nice a lot of them 
very nice people and that is fact and they speak English as well so that's a plus right so that's it I'm going to leave you here unfortunately there are many homeless kids roaming the streets in the Philippines going hungry due to inadequate infrastructure and funding for education and healthcare results limited opportunity to progress which inevitably exacerbates poverty just innocent soul you know and i uh, just want to get them in a group and uh yeah they are homeless i have to mention that and uh, no thank you um yeah which is really sad they're so young they should be in school but they're homeless really and they're cool about air and uh they didn't ask me for money so i have to give them something really off, off bank camera because i just can't record this sort of thing hello hello Tau kan dig kossa pata Chudas ti vepa un tri In the evening, many Filipinos come to this side of town for sunsets and leisure. The struggle, the joy and the Philippines all blend in together and I'm here for the whole ride and I'm sleepy. Oh, I'm awake! <laughs> We've seen like a different dimension of the city. It is quite a huge and interesting and complex, you know. It has um, a lot of flaws, at the same time it has some beauty. There's a lot to admire and as a filmmaker. So the beauty of this, of creating something is like when you get to interact with the locals and when you know like the locals can understand you as well and you can communicate with them and make an exciting watch, an exciting, uh, what, is it, what is it like, it's exciting show in general, right? So it's fantastic coming here to him this chapter here in um, Manila Bay, something like that, right? So walking, it's a nice climate at the moment, right? Sunset, you know, a lot of people how just like chillax and having a good time, really. I think and this sort of thing, like you will never see it back in the UK where after you finish work, so by the time you finish work, right, basically, you're probably going to be like, oh, I'm so tired, I might just stay indoors and uh, not be able to go outside because the weather is not amazing, isn't it? So, which is a bit sad, right? but here the people tend to leave um, their life, regardless of the hardship or difficulties, you know what I mean, they do experience here, but it just shows, like, how, what a small world we're leaving, right? How you need to appreciate the little things you have. You see, for now, I will leave you with this scene because it's pure and divine.